Hello. Hi. I am Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. So today, what I want to talk to you about is what's coming up here in December. Even though we're only in the beginning of November, we're in this last part of this year, this last cycle, and this is a biggie. This is coming up for the December solstice, and I'm calling this time period the launch and go. And there's people going through a lot of stuff. You're also seeing a lot of drift out there. I'm just going to put it mildly. There's drift. There's people drifting away. And it's okay. Because those people who are going to be who they came here to be, it's your time. It's the launch and go time. Exactly what you've been expecting. So a few things to talk about about this are going to be that have to do with all of the setups. So there's things that various people are going through. And there's been a lot of talk about, you know, who's this, who's that, who's together, who isn't. And the direction of things is always for people to actually be together and live together with their one true love. And this is a lot of what's coming out. People are getting the dead wood out. They're doing their inventories. And your body will um, feel the effects of this or the purges. So we've had several things go on since the Lion's Gate. We've had the Lion's Gate where we first started closing the doors. And for Blu-rays, this has started actually in previous years. Started last year in 2015, August of 2015. 15. September was intense. A push. Huge push. Not This is not a cosmic joke, ladies and gentlemen. This is a huge push by the universe. October was intense for about the first half, and then the latter half, this was for the subtleties. This was for you to refine your connections with your own true love for you to refine the things that you know. So that was refinement time. And for some people, confinement time. Keeping things tight, keeping it just to the essentials. Sometimes you were isolated and it hasn't always felt comfortable for everyone. Nor will it be. It just won't be comfortable here for a while. For some people, until they are physically together with their twin. Now that's where the split is, is because for some of us, yeah, nothing else feels right. It just is that way. It's been that way for years, and you're literally being pushed to where you need to be. And you're guided. And some of it feels very natural, albeit it can be lonely. When you're together, there will be questions that come up. So people that are together are having questions, they're still having to purge some things out. And some people, they're sort of at that doorway or that chasm or whatever you want to call it. Some people literally are expecting the doors to open and that's part of this launch and go. The door, the next doors, the next huge energetic influx is happening and it's especially for the blu-ray rod and staff people and the illumined seraphim and ophanum the blu-ray rod and staff people already have this in place a lot of you have been seeing and collapsing your past parallel and your future lives all into the present Everything is just tumbling like dominoes. Boom, 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 boom. And it's been alarming for some people. It's been expected, and yet it's been really intense. It has been a real uh, use of your discernment so that you're able to feel your own timing for things and to hold steady. So people that are Blu-ray Rod and Staff Unions actually do know this. There's actually very clear guidance on what to do to set things up. 
get it in place get it going get it set up get it in place get ready hold steady that's been the message forget about the rest of the 3d world and I'm gonna get to that also I want to let you know that in the spiral of time you will retro even if there's no retrograde if you need to go backwards and attend to something or do it even though nobody says it's a mercury retrograde or a mars retrograde or a venus retrograde or whatever you're going to empty everything out everything is getting emptied out this month for the people that are coming into their physical union or if you're in your physical union it's going to empty out and it's felt very acutely it is felt very intensely the parts of you that will clear out are going to be certain parts where the subtle connections are and the subtle bodies are connected it's going to be through your crown your eyes your heart and your root now the other thing that is happening and this is throwing people off this is not a cosmic joke and you know that you have your connections with your twin you know that you're supposed to be with them however the Illumin Seraphim and Ophanum are making their five through nine dimensional footholds okay some of the things that the Blu-rays have gone through over the past couple years you're having an intense time of making these connections and yeah I hear you even though all you'd really like is a hug from your twin you're staying put so that you can make these you are meeting your twin in the new dream time if you've let go of the fourth dimensional astral plane no more astral sex no more astral sex with soulmates no more thought forms no more no more grotesques no more angry gods or goddesses or any other um, forms that have existed in the fourth dimensional astral plane you're in a more lucid dream time state which is your 5 to 60 seeing yourselves with your other that's what some people are experiencing now just because you're not experiencing it doesn't mean you're not going to walk into the time frame where you start experiencing this this is the direction of it also the etheric part of this planet and a few more which can include planets in the Palladian system the Pallades Sirius Mars Venus Antares Uranus Neptune I mean the list goes on of how many planets that you or you and your other or your twin flame can be connected and this is another confusion point for people because one of you may have a connection to say Venus and the other one has a strong connection to Mars because you've explored these areas while staying connected with each other it's like having a rubber band that you need to yank back from that place and timeline and this is where blu-rays have collapsed this and tucked it all into the heart and the seraphim and ophanum are now doing these parts so it does feel like a delay but this is a very important part of this process and being able to hold each other within as well as have your connections for what's coming up next year so a lot of this is extensive preparation and people don't like it people don't want to hear about it but I'm telling you the truth of it and you can turn your back on it you can walk away it's going to come right back to you when it's your true love and your twin flame and this is a soul thing it will come back it might be the early part of next year and you will still come back to it the etheric part of this planet is no longer holding you in place it can't stay attached to you and you can't stay attached so let me ask a question how many of you out there have felt distinctly detached from 3d earth for some of you it occurred years ago for some of you it just occurred or occurred in the final cycle of it 
now in this time frame somewhere between August and November. And this detachment from 3D will feel like a disinterested in disinterest in what might have formerly been fun things for you. It will very much feel like extreme boredom, but not negativity. It will feel like you want to leave, but not commit suicide or feel that it comes from a place of despair. And you will feel elated in many ways. You will feel very free and liberated. And that's important. So if you feel like that, you've done what you needed to do. And you are clearing, like I say, you are clearing the crown. Here, let me write it here. Crown. The eyes. The heart. crown, eyes, heart, and your root and sacral chakra. So that's going to be the hip, the private parts, the root, your grounding chakras. Your crown is going to be the energies around here. It's going to be thoughts. It's going to be beliefs. It's going to be things other people think that you are or believe you are. Things that they think they could feel sorry for you, that you're not dating anyone, anything. It's going to detach from your crown. Your eyes, this is going to be traumas you've seen, cataclysm, it's going to be looking at other people. It might be looking at the same person over your breakfast table every single day for the past few years. And your heart, you're not carrying anyone else in your heart. So the etheric part of this planet cannot hold you and you are embodying your other both within you and outside of you okay so your twin flame exists and you also exist within each other you have the twin within don't forget it because even if all you walk away with from my video today is that your twin is within you you bear a responsibility to care for each other if you are in another relationship or you're engaging with someone else that twin within will feel like it's repelling the other person away. You will not have matching vibration because this is not the same matching harmonics. You won't have harmony at some point. And for some people, that point has already occurred or it's occurring now. And you're feeling like you got to go. You got to get out of here. It's time. You've done. You're ready. And you may or may not be ready. Or your and that's the other thing to mention. There's two of you. There's you and your other. You're so much fun. They had to pour you into two bodies. And yeah, you're you're rearranging your stuff. You're disentangling it. You are getting detached from things. And you're bringing all of your essence here to do this with each other in the physical. And yes, it is very physical. It is very physical because your other, no matter what behaviors they're up to, has the other set of lock and keys that you need. So that's why I say no more astral planning. The Blu-rays have largely collapsed the astral plane. People can still play around in what they think it is. It's no longer an authentic place. It's going to be very much make-believe and it's going to be thought forms. It is not going to be the true essence of anyone. And this is what a lot of people get in the ethers. The etheric body of this planet is also where the messages travel through for email, text, instant messenger, the things that you hear where you say, I hear a voice, I hear a ghost, I hear a spirit, and you are leaving this. You are the one detaching from it. So the etheric is no longer holding you in place. If your twin has shut down communications with you, take that as a blessing because that means the next steps are coming for you. You get very, people get very upset that they're not having a conversation. When you have a conversation with your twin with your mouth, you're getting the ego mind. 
you are not getting the purity of your, the heart, you can get parts of the heart. I'm not saying you can't get heartfelt conversations or deep conversations. What I am saying is that you're not going to get it from a higher level and you will still have some of the ego mind there. We all have it. It's diminishing. For some people it's 80% gone. Other people it is maybe say only 20% gone because they're still living in situations where they are immersed in that karmic soup. So you're um, making your footholds while you're seeing your own other and having met them somewhere along the line here. So I want to show you the direction that we're going with this. The other thing that people are addressing with this is they're getting rid of a lot of their um, inner child issues. And I applaud that. So if you take this diagram I have here, this is from past lives where you may have been the one incarnated and your twin is overlighting your life or something has happened to you and upon pain of death, one of you has left. But you stay with each other. Many times there is no more will to go away from the other, especially when you're not connected to the pains of a physical body. And yet overlighting the life, this is how mystics and saints have been able to perform miracles working through their twin. Now you're in a life where physically you're coming together or you've met or you've become aware of your twin somehow and your love is here and you enter your love bubble phase. Now the Blu-ray Rod and Staff people have already formed their energies into um, what would visually appear as a column of light or something that looks like a helix or a spiral that goes up and up and up. So you're moving upwards and that movement has already occurred for the people that will merge themselves together. Why is this December so important? I'll tell you why. It's the launch. It is a level of cosmic body merge that hasn't happened here in about eight to 10,000 years. It has taken until the precession of the equinox uh, now for the alignments necessary, which is about 26,000 years. Every 26,000 years, there's like a tick and things will line up and the timing is just right there. It makes it easy, makes it easy. You know, as easy as if you had a, if you had a boat and you saw the dock, you wouldn't jump off the boat and swim the rest of the way. You'd let the momentum carry you and then you'd jump onto the dock. Well, that's the same principle we're using here. We are using the natural rhythms and momentums of the universe to launch ourselves and propel ourselves. When you resist it, you don't allow this to work through you. And you're not accepting who you are. If you retreat back into 3D, you may or may not feel your twin. If you continue you are the one who consider, continues on your ascension path here and you're working with a higher, bigger, grander, more expansive cosmic heart love. Not the love that's found on earth. The love that doesn't exist in a time and space. The love that's eternal. So, to give you a further demonstration, I have here a globe. And a lot of you have like taken the world off your shoulders and you can feel it. And it's very freeing, it's very liberating. This globe is so old that Germany is actually in two countries still on this globe. And there's places like uh, Burma that are now called Myanmar that the old name shows up on here. Sri Lanka is called Ceylon on here. So I want to give you a demonstration that this 
plastic represents the etheric body that is formed by everyone that encircles our planet. It helps to transmit love, communications, etc. Now, this is the Blu-ray Rod and Staff couple who have connected themselves. They've pulled in their beautiful rainbow essence from everywhere and they have actually broken through and they are taking part of their essence with them because they no longer need to stay connected to 3D Earth. And they're continuing to ascend to a higher level. So a lot of people have felt a lot of people have felt that they are connected and for many people the root and the hara chakra as well as the crown you're connected here and down here by the private part area this is where it's been connected it's been connected down around this area, okay, the hip, the sacral, belly button, and people will become confused. They feel someone here, they feel um, aroused, they feel turned on or something like this. This happens quite a bit, uh, especially with the one who is more 3D or the more earthy one or what some people call the matrix twin, which isn't always the masculine, it will sometimes be the electric feminine. But if it is the electric masculine, this is why you're clearing out your root. You have to help your twin detach. And these are not, this is not done effectively through a certain yoga or other grounding practices. It has to be done in a twin flame way. So the root, along with the crown, because it will be sometimes a knee-jerk response for certain addictions, coping behaviors, um, habits, habits of lifetimes, where it goes from the eyes to the lower and up again, or there's a fear somehow stimulating all the juices. Your twin can become or may have been addicted to drama, and that too gets the wrong kind of juices flowing because it will make you feeling anxious. You'll feel agitated. You'll feel nervous. You'll feel anxiety, depression. And how do you, you want to launch. You want to launch and take off. And something is holding you. It's holding you. It's tethering you back down to 3D Earth. What is tethering you down? Well, that's typically done through the root, sometimes the heart even. If you're feeling sorry for people or you're struggling to help let them go and release them and or get them to release you. How do you get them to release you? And again, it's not a conversation because if you speak to them, you will get their ego mind. So the tools that I have in here catch your spirit body if you have a twin who has some addiction issues this is where you're at part of them is in the ethers or in spirit and they literally need to connect be reconnected catch your spirit body that's one of my webinars the other one is Divine Lovers Cosmic Body Reconnection. That is going to be putting you here and here. And I have another one, which is coming up for November 11th, 12th, and 13th. So in a little over a week, I have a live abundance webinar where I will be addressing some of these things. And the tools are there. There is a guided lucid there's there's a lucid guidance for you to help release earth connections cosmic level connections along with the abundance codes that you need for furthering your own union
And that means properly maintaining yourself, keeping body and soul together here, not starving for the sake of love. We've done that in too many lifetimes. It's time to break all the molds. You're breaking out of here. You are launching and going. Where are you going? You're going home to the place where you're really from. While maintaining your life here, especially if you have children or other family or responsibilities. And this is this gets very upsetting for people because people feel that they have to choose. And I covered that in my abundance webinar where the only choice is detaching yourself from old things. That's all you have to choose to do and I walk you through it. Make a choice here to help yourself to get some things that will accelerate this along for you. So in a nutshell, this December solstice that's coming up, there's going to be several energies that come through to help people really do this, to really be successful. This is not just for a handful of people. This is, this is the direction of it. But it is going in waves. So there's a first wave and a second wave and a third wave. And there are people that are teachers and healers. And there are people that are going to be able to help you with certain things. So what I want to let you know is that myself, as a Blu-ray Rod and Staff Union, I am bringing my agreement full circle that has to do with ascending earth and ascending the people to their next levels. This is my agreement of teaching. And just like any teacher, you know, there's teachers that teach something and it's, it's a great fit. And I hope that uh, I get a lot of great feedback on my stuff. I hope that you'll explore it. The links are below for you to check it out. And abundance covers quite a bit because there are, there's more to abundance than just money. Although I talk about money. I talk about money. I talk about debts. I talk about health, wealth. I talk about it as it pertains to your union. And this is something that is coming from another level because What's abundant in the United States might be a different form of abundance in Sweden or Australia or India or Africa so in, in a country. If you take Ghana or you take Brazil, it's, it's going to be something different. But there are universal things that are common to all of us that we not only need. Okay, this isn't about being needy. It's about creating. It's about being who you came here to be and allowing your love to provide for you. It's about no longer getting handouts that really aren't sufficient to make ends meet. It's about getting people away from draining you and exhausting you or their stuff. So if you are planning to fully do this, check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who has participated in my webinars. Since this is live, there's going to be an opportunity to ask questions. And it gets very lively. So I hope to see you there. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye now.